Welcome everyone to the Electric Football Green Bay Packers workout and we're going to start with our offensive line. We have at left tackle David Bakhtiari. Left guard we have Josh Sitton. At center we have Evan Dietrich Smith. And right guard we have TJ Lang. Right tackle we have Don Barclay. We're going to use the total team control base, better known as the TTC, as the base for our offensive linemen. The TTC base comes in two parts. It has a dial, which you see right here on the right, and it has a frame, which you see right here. The dial has two prongs, one here, one here. Those prongs will be on the front of the base, and the frame has a prong right here and right here, totaling two on its frame. When the base is put together, the base looks like what you see here, all in one unit. So you see the prong here in the front, another one in the front, you have one in the, the rear and another one in the rear, totaling four prongs. There's also on the dial a smaller prong which you may have trouble seeing but it sits right inside this circle here. That prong is responsible for helping the base to turn. This base gives you the capability of sending your figure left, right, sh and straight. As I hold this base in my hand, I want you to observe the movement of the dial. I turn it to the right, I turn the dial to the left, and I bring it back straight toward the front. This is where your control comes from, as you can see. When I turn this dial to the, to the right, this player is now set to go left once it's set down on the board. When I turn this dial to the left, this player is now set to move to the right when it's placed down on the board. I'm going to set the dial to go straight and the way you tell that you see this notch right here at the bottom of the dial when that notch is facing straight down to the rear of the base that's how you know your base is set to go straight so we're going to test how well this base moves straight ahead Let's see what happens. I'm going to set it down on the board. Let's run. That's good movement. Because it's an offensive lineman, I don't need this player to go end zone to end zone. I now want to test how well this figure moves to the right. I expect to see this figure move in this pattern. And the way we test for that, turn the figure over, and when I turn this dial to the left, I expect this figure to turn to the right when I place it down on the board. We have it set. Let's see what happens. Excellent movement. Now we're going to test how well this player moves to the left. So we expect him now to go to an opposite direction, this way. And we're going to do that the same way we did when we went toward the right. We turn the figure over and we turn the dial 
to the right because we now want the figure to go to the left and we place the figure down on the table let's see how well he moves excellent movement okay now that we've tested how well the player moves left right and straight ahead I want to show you another movement this is what happens when you turn the dial too far on your base I've turned the dial to the right this base is now set to turn left but the dial has been turned too far let's observe what happens what you've just seen is a no-no in electric football let's now turn the dial the opposite way too far let's see what happens what you've just seen is a no-no in electric football this is what people were doing back in the 70s and the 60s it was a user error people didn't know how to manipulate their base and as a result they got bad movement such as this now that we've tested the bases movement we now want to test the bases resistance now, don't get this wrong. This base is in no way ready for a team yet. I'm just working on these Packers linemen, and I'm trying to find some bases to build them. So I'm going to match this base up against the nose tackle, Ryan Pickett. And we're going to test the base's resistance. Let's see what happens. Well, as we can see, this base is not yet ready. So we're going to do some tweaks on this base to see if we can get this uh, base to resist a little bit better. So here we have the bottom of the base. And now we have to work at tweaking the prongs on this base. We want to focus on these four prongs that we talked about earlier. Here, 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 and here. We don't want to tweak this prong here in the middle we don't want that one we want to keep that one as is so I want to start by using my duckbill pliers and I want to smash the prongs here on the back and I want to do the same thing on the front so I turn the front of the base over. Now I want to make sure that I don't smash too far down at the bottom of the prong because I don't want to weaken it. So I want to grab just a little bit of it, of the prong. I want to flatten it out like so, taking care not to go down too far on the prong flatten it out so basically we're trying to get this base to resist a little bit better let's set, let's set the base on the table here and we're going to get our nose tackle Ryan Pickett again let's see what happens He's still getting creamed, although it's a little bit slower. The base that we're working with on Josh Sitton, number 71, is not showing great promise. There are other bases that we have to work with. So it's back to the drawing board. Going to keep on moving until we find the proper bases to match this Green Bay Packer offensive line. I'm Mo. Thanks for watching.